Hi everyone, this is Nate with People Fit Health and Fitness, and this is Intermediate Circuit Training. Always consult with a physician before starting an exercise program. So it's intermediate, so what I'm going to try to do is give some exercises that are more advanced and some that are um, a little more intermediate, not beginner, but um, so different levels. So you can kind of pick what you want to do. So we'll do our eight exercises, 40 seconds a piece. The first one, I don't have as much space as you guys. It's going to be a side-to-side -side squat. So I'm going to do the one where we squat. We're going to side step, come to the end, squat. So that's going to be the basic one. If you want a more advanced one, I want you to do a burpee. So let's see. Let me see if I can lower this a little bit. Hang on. So what it would look like is instead of just doing a squat, you're going to do a burpee, come up, and then you can side step, come down, do a burpee, up, side step, okay? So those will be the two options. You can do a burpee or you can do a squat and then side step. All right, so let's get some space. In three, two, one, go ahead. You're either gonna squat or do a burpee, side step a little, squat. We got 10 seconds. Last one. Good. Take a pause right there. Next one, let's do a back exercise. So grab uh, one single weight. We're just going to do a bent over a row. So let's get the weight in the right hand. We'll get the left foot out in front. Left hand goes on the left leg. We're going to take a good forward knee. Flat back, so it's only forward lean with a hunt. Forward lean with a flat back. And then we're going to pull up and down nice and smooth. Real easy, okay? So most of you have done this one already. So let's go with the right hand. In three, two, one. Here we go. Good forward lean. Pulling up and down nice and smooth. We have 15 seconds to go. It's going to leave us with five more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hang on to that single weight. We're going to do a dry with It's a shoulder and core exercise. So you're going to hang on to the ends. Stand up tall. Tighten your core. We're going to lift the shoulder height. Rotate. Rotate. And then we're going to bring it back down. Okay? So... We'll go in about five seconds, grab the ends, tighten up the core. We're going to lift with straight arms. Go ahead, lift, rotate, rotate, back down. Up again, keep the core tight, rotate, rotate, back down. Lift, up, rotate. Good, just make sure you keep your core tight. Don't forget about that part. Stand up tall, don't lean back. We got two more to go. Last one. Good. You can make your way down to the ground. If you uh, need to stay up to see the exercise, you can do that before you come down. I'm going to show you what it is. It's a core exercise. We're going to do a single leg drop. So you lie on your back, wedge your hand between the ground. Okay. Let one leg come down on the ground, bring it all the way up, then we're going to go to the other one. If that one's too aggressive, what I want you to do, I want you to do is bend knees, and you're just going to bring one foot down to the ground like this. So this will be a modified version, and then straight legs in the air will be a more advanced version. Okay, so lie on your back, doesn't matter which one you're going to do, you're going to wedge your hands between you and the ground. And go ahead. You're either going to do it with bent knees or a straight leg. 
I'll do a couple with the straight leg and then I'll go over the bent knee one. Okay. Make sure your back tries to stay nice and flat to the ground. You got 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, good. Pause right there. You can stay on the ground. You're gonna line your left side so your right leg is facing up. We're gonna do a hip circle. So you're gonna line your side. You can lie flat or up on the elbow. We're gonna lift that top leg. We're gonna start a circular pattern. I'm gonna let you know when, and then we're gonna reverse that direction. If you are not doing any ground exercises, maybe you could just do like a standing hip abduction. So just kicking out to the side. But if you're on the ground, left side, you're gonna bring the right leg up. Here we go, start a circle, small circle. I'll let you know the win, we're gonna reverse it. Let's reverse it. Reverse it again. Reverse it one more time. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. All right, we're going to work that right leg again. So you're going to lie on your back. We're going to do a single leg bridge. You're going to lie on your back. You're going to keep your right leg on the ground. You want you to put your heel on the ground so your toe points up. You're going to cross your left leg over your right one. We're going to push off that heel. And we're going to raise the hips up to the ceiling. Okay, so right leg on the ground, toe points up on the heel. And here we go. Push off the heel, lift the hips to the ceiling. Just keep a rhythm, nice smooth rhythm. You can lift the hips as high as you can. You got three more to go. There's one, two, and there's three. After your third, come on up. We're going to come back to a stand. We have two exercises standing, and then we'll take our first break. First one, real simple. We're going to do a single calf raise. So, Take one leg, either lift it in the air or wrap it behind the other one. You're going to press up off that foot, and we're just going to go up and down on that one leg. If that's too much, I'll give you a modified version. It's just doing both at the same time. But if you can, try the single leg. When you do your right leg, we're going to work the right leg in this round. So stand up tall. Here we go, and we're off. You can hold on to something if you want a little support for balance. It doesn't have to be fast. Make sure you're not coming down too hard on the heel. You want to come down nice and softly. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, take a pause. Let's grab both weights. We're going to do a bicep exercise. We're going to do a bicep balance. So let's place one foot in front of the other. If you're too off balance, I want you just to step to the side a little bit. Or if you can, go straight in front of each other. We're going to stand up tall. This one's going to have some rhythm to it. So we're going to curl up with one. As that one comes down, we're going to start bringing the other one. So it's going to look like this. The kind of cross pass right about here. Okay. So. Doesn't matter which foot you want to put out in front. I'm going to let you know halfway. We're going to change the feet. We'll go in three, two, one. Here we go. One in front of the other. If 
your balance is too wobbly, just take that front foot and just bring it off to the side a little bit. You'll have a little bit more stability. Change feet. Let's get the other one out in front. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's take our first water break. We'll take 30 to 45 seconds. All right, let's come back to the front. Let's do round two. Round two, we're going to do the same thing. First one, you have the choice of either doing a squat or burpee, putting your hands on the ground, kicking both legs back, standing up, then we sidestep, and then we repeat, okay? So you can do a burpee or a squat. Okay, let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. You also have the option to stay low when you sidestep. If you want to stay low, you can. It's going to make it a little harder in the legs. You can stay low and then do a squat. You can stand up tall. Give yourself a few seconds. And we got one more time down. Good. All right, let's grab one single weight. We'll do a bent over row. We're going to do it with the left hand this time. So let's get the weight in the left hand with the right leg out in front. You can always put your hand on something if you have anything around you. Good forward lean, flat back. And then we're going to pull up nice and smooth. All right, we're going five, four, Three, two, one, let's go left handed. Ten seconds to go. Let's go two more. And then we'll stand up tall. All right. I'll take a few seconds to show you what we got coming next. This is going to be the drive. You're going to hold on to the end of the dumbbell. You're going to stand up tall. Tighten the core, we lift up, we rotate, we rotate, we bring the weight back down. All right, so let's go in five, four, three, two, tighten up your core. Here we go, lift the shoulder height, rotate, rotate, back down. Rotate, rotate, back down. Rotate, rotate, back down. No higher than your shoulders, keep it below shoulder height. Two more to go. Last one. Good. You can place that weight down. All right. We'll make our way down to the ground. We're going to do our three ground exercises. So come on the ground, lie on your back. I'll talk you through, through that from there. Thank you. 
Okay, so the first one is a single leg drop. We lift the legs up. We wedge our hands between us and the ground. We drop one leg at a time. This is a straight leg single leg drop. If that's too aggressive for you, I want you to do a bent knee single leg drop like this. So you're just going to do one at a time with a bent knee. So bent knees modified, more advanced would be a straight leg. Okay, so wedge your hands between you and the ground. Start with the legs both up in the air. Either bent or straight, and here we go. Come down nice and slow. Slower is good on this one. Feel free to do the straight leg one. I'm just going to do the modified one. Keep your back as flat to the ground as you can. Let's protect the lower back. Ten seconds. Last one. Good. Bring the legs down. Take a break. We're going to lie on our right side so our, our left leg is facing up. You got the ability to either be flat on your arm or you can be up on an elbow. That's up to you. This is going to be our hip circle. So we're going to take the top leg, lift up, create a circle. I'm going to let you know when and where you need to change it. We'll change the direction. So let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Top leg lifts up, start a circle. Reverse it. We're doing a reverse every 10 seconds. Reverse it. Reverse one more time. Two, one, good. Bring that leg down. Let's line our back again. We have our left leg single leg brace. So I'll give you the modified version in a second. That means your left heel is going to stay on the ground. Your left toe points up in the air. You take your right leg, you cross it over your left. That's our start point, and then we start to lift the hips up and down to the ceiling. That would be the regular version, a modified version. You can just do both legs and just do a straight bridge up and down, okay? Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Left leg on the heel. Drive the hips to the ceiling. Up and down, nice and smooth. If you need to do the modified, just do both feet on the ground and you still lift the hips up and down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring the hips down, come back up to a stand. We got two standing. This one, we're going left leg single calf raise. You stand on your left leg, you wrap your right one behind. You press up and down off that left foot, okay? You can wrap it behind, you can just hold it in the air. Modified version would just be just doing both feet on the ground, up on the toes, just a cap raise. Let's go in five, four, three. We're doing the left leg, and here we go, up on the, up on the toe. Nice and slow, easy on the heel. Let's try to minimize that impact that we put through the heel. We got 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, grab your set of weights.
ladies. We got one more, then we'll take our break. This is going to be our alternating bicep curl with a balance. So the balance part comes heel to toe. And then we have our alternating bicep curl, hammer curl. Okay? Three, two, one. Either foot doesn't matter. Out in front. Here we go. Curl them. Cross pass. I'll give you a halfway point. We'll change the legs. Change feet. No. Give me an unstable connection notification. I take like uh, another 15 seconds or so, and then we're going to get after the third round. All right, let's get set up for round three. Same deal, a little faster again. It's the third round, we've already done everything. So you have squat sidestep or burpee sidestepping, okay? Let's go in three, two, one. Go ahead, if you're gonna do a squat, sidestepping, squat. If you wanna try the burpee, go ahead and do the burpee. Climb down. Good. All right, let's grab a weight. First of all, we have bent over row. I'll let you know when we're at our halfway point. We'll change hands. You take a nice forward lean, flat back, pulling up and down nice and smooth. We're going three, two, one. Here we go. We'll pick a hand. Doesn't matter which one. We'll do both of them. Just make sure your opposite foot is out front. So opposite foot inside the side the weight's on. Two more, one more, stand up, change hands, change feet, and here we go, flat back. Three, two, one, good. Hang on to that single weight, face the front. We have our driver. This is a shoulder core exercise. Tight core, good base with your feet. Don't be narrow. It makes you want to lean back. So wide base, straight arms. We'll go in three, two, one. Lift up, rotate, rotate. Bring it back down. Make sure you are no higher than your shoulder height. You have a real serious risk of injury if you're over your shoulder. So keep it below shoulder height. Three to go, two more, last one, good, all right, lose the weight, make your way down to the ground, you can lie on your back, we have a single leg drop, we lie in the back, we wedge our hands between us and the ground, you're going to do a straight leg or bent knee if you need a modified one, okay? So here we go, both legs up in the air. One drops to the ground, other one drops to the ground. Nice and slow, keep your back nice and flat. If you need to do the bent one, just drop 
Come back to the to the ground. You got 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a pause. Lay on your side. Doesn't matter which side. We're going to do our hip circles. Pick a side, lie flat, or up on the elbow, I'll leave that up to you. We're going to take that top leg and start a circle, okay? So here we go. Lift up, start a circle, 10 seconds. Reverse it. Two, one, good. All right, Let's switch to the other side. Other leg. Okay, top leg lifts up, start a circle. Here we go. Reverse it. Three, two, one, good. Lie on your back. You got your single leg bridge. That's where you put one heel on the ground, point the toe up, take the other leg, cross it over, and then we push off that heel. We lift the hips up to the ceiling. So pick either leg, doesn't matter. We'll go in three, two, one, go ahead. Three, two, one, change legs. Go ahead. As soon as you're set up, get started right away. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take a pause. All right, come on back up. We got two to go. We have a single calf raise. You can do both off both if you want a modified version. If you can, you're going to do a single leg. Wrap one behind the other. Take a leg. We're going three, two, one, up and down, nice and smooth. Or you're going to do it off full speed if you want a modified version. Two, one, change feet. Here we go. Three, two more. Last one. Good. All right, grab your set of weights. Last exercise. We have our balancing hammer curl. So you grab your weight, you put one foot out in front of the other. Stand up tall. And here we go. We're going to cross pass, create a rhythm. Change feet. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. 
And you're going to class, everyone. Thanks.